Hey everybody, 47 Mark 4 here, back with FTB's Revelation Pack. So since last time, you know, I went through the comments on the video, and thank you to everybody who watched and, uh, you know, liked the video, but one of the comments kind of stuck out about our uh, Ender Pearl farm. And let's see how it did. We're at 7,600 Ender Pearls and climbing, and I'll show you why. A uh, slight modification got made to the farm. So I've got XNet on it now. And what XNet is doing is it is taking this flexed fire grow and on priority, putting it out in the arboreal extractor, puts it out there first. And if those are full, then puts it in the phytogenic insulator. And as you can see, we're full. Now I did upgrade these three machines. They really, uh, let's see, this one has one speed upgrade and that one has one speed upgrade but this last one just got upgraded to run just a little faster but so that makes the uh, extractors run faster and i'll show you that so out around back here you can see that it's got a stack of flux fighter grow and it's running at four times the rate and that's enough to keep itself stocked now i did swap the tree out to dark oak and it doesn't matter as long as it's an oak tree Oak trees make sap. So a dark oak, let me put eight of these guys around it. And all eight are filled with flex phytogro running at 4x. And now we've got basically, I don't know, eight times, uh, 30 times, something like that. The uh, sap production that we had before. So this guy's constantly filling. You know, it fills a couple. It takes a second break. It fills a couple. Uh, I really like how fast this goes. You know, we could add one more tree, and, you know, we'd be good to go. So, ah, there it is right there. They come in little bursts, right? So it's filling, filling, filling. So very shortly, this guy's going to back up, and then the whole system will stop, and that's all right by me. So we are making pearls left and right. And if I need to make something else, hey, I can just throw it in there and swap the pearls out for a minute. So thanks, man. I really appreciate that uh, suggestion. You took an OP farm and made it op -er? Is that a thing? All right. Uh, so, the build I want to do today. I've already got all the parts laid out for it. It's right up here. I want to play with Industrial 4 going. You know, I got looking at our sheep that are out here, and you know, I was thinking about farming, and I had kind of an idea. I want to take care of those guys today. So, I got a whole bunch of stuff. You know, it would have taken me a long time to build all this stuff, so I already built it all so we could uh, put the, you know, the build together. So I'm going to take this chest, and I probably remembered, I don't know, 90% of the parts. That's kind of how I do. And, you know, I'm just going to chuck this guy over here. So here's what I would like to have happen. I want to breed these guys right here, and I'd like to see how many byproducts I could get off from them. I want to take their babies over here into a holding pen, and let them grow up, and then put them over here, and uh, let's say pet them less than gently. You know, we're going to use them for food and all kinds of stuff. So I've got like half the blocks from the mod in here, and I'm going to try to build a whole system. So let's kind of walk through this here. I've got farming because, you know, I'm going to need wheat to supply this whole thing. I've got an animal grower, and a rancher, and some baby separators, and ways to kill them, ways to feed them, fertilize the plants, crush them, tanks to hold stuff, XNet to move it around. I mean, we got a lot of stuff going on here. So what I think I'm going to do first is I think I'm going to set all the blocks down, and then we'll wire it afterwards. I think that sounds like a good plan to me. So I'm going to put a farm out here first. And, you know, I'm kind of debating where I want my farm. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, right here. Because I'm thinking a nine by nine farm. So there's the sower. And if I put in, I think it's a tier three range add-on into this guy. Check the range. Yeah, that's a nine by nine farm. And it's decently lined up. All right, I guess that'll work. And then that means I'm going to need its plant-gathering friend. 
which is right here. And where do I want it to gather? I think I want it to gather, uh, let's see, you know, last minute decisions. We'll gather from over here. Yeah, kind of like right in this block, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right. So let's see what else we've got here. I know I've got a plant fertilizer. And, you know, I think I'm going to put the plant fertilizer right there. And let's check ranges on these guys. So this guy, yep, needs a range upgrade as well. Let's grab a couple of those. Let's see, right there. Okay, they overlap. And then this guy's range. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. I thought they all needed the same upgrade. All right, let's turn all these guys off. Right, right there. Uh, and then down here. All right, so this is going to be making wheat, right? Because I got to get these guys wheat. And then I'm thinking that I can take uh, some of these sewers and I'd like to get a rancher and a grower and a feeder. So the feeder in some of these I got to look at. So let's see. The feeder is, oh, excellent. It's a block that goes in front of itself. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oops, don't like that. Nope, don't like that either. All right, let's get this guy here. I thought that was dirt in there, but nope. All right, fill that guy in. We're not going to need three by for the drill. All right, so if this guy goes like right here, I'm going to need a couple of fences, right? So I think I can come here and chop this one out, stick this guy in, and we'll fence it up. Ah, get back in there. Get, 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 get in there. Ah, we had an escapee. I knew that was going to happen. That's all right. I can fix him. I can fix you. Uh, hello? Hello? Get back in your house. All right. So that should work for that, right? There's the range, and it perfectly covers the pen. Cool. So we're going to feed the animals. All right, we got one more dangerous one to put in. And you know, maybe I'll do this step ahead of time. Come on, dudes. Stop hanging over the fence. There's nothing to see. Right there. Okay. So what if we did this? Let's get our next block. So this one's going to be a baby separator. And you know, I'm not quite sure which way's the separate direction. Uh, it's kind of the same texture. All right, working area is in front of it. Okay. All right, so that means I place it uh, w where I'm looking. That'll work. All right, so let's... Uh, boy, all you dudes are going to come barging through this hole. Come on, everybody out of the way. Right there. All right, so that should pull them this way. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here, and we'll continue to pull them to me. And that way, the babies have a place to grow, and I don't have to worry about kill this mob, but don't kill that mob. All right, so that should work. Let's see what else we got. We got a couple ways to kill them, and I think I'm going to put one right here, right? Slaughter factory, and I think I'll put one right here. Let's see, where's the other one? Mob crusher. And, you know, I don't think I'm going to need it, but let's go ahead and fence that over as well. Right there. Okay. Got all of that. And then there's the rancher. All right. We got to look at the rancher. How do you work? All right. So the rancher can, you know, I could put the rancher right underneath the feeder because it's got this too tall. I could do that or I could put him over here. Yeah, you know what? I'll put them over there. I just kind of like the machines on every side. I think it's kind of a neat look. All right, so let's get this guy over here. We'll grab some fences. Where's the middle? Right there. And, you know, I'm going to take out a couple of these blocks just so I have room to work. All right, let's take out this block and stuff that right there. All right, what else we got left? Uh, sewage composter I can deal with later. Oh, animal grower. Yeah, Animal Grower, assuming it's got the same range, and it does. Okay, so Animal Grower will go right 
here in the middle of this guy. And that should be this block right here. All right, animal grower. And then I figure, you know, these guys are going to be making sewage. So we might as well have them stand right on top of a sewer, put one right there, and hopefully I can sneak one of these in right there. Just got to be fast, right? Might as well make sewage. So I think that those are kind of all the machines. And then we're going to have an admin area, like where all the stuff is. And I think I'll probably put it over here somewhere. Let's just see what's outside the range here. Yeah, so kind of like right here maybe will be the admin area. And we're going to need to put down a couple of things. Going to need a controller. I think I'm going to need a sink. We're definitely going to need power. Uh, the sewage composter, some tanks, an ender chest. Like, I want a small line of machines here. So how do I want to do this? I think I want to... I think I want to put XNet on the very end, and we'll put power next to XNet, and I'll say out. Oh, where's my card? Ah, oh, I gotta link the card up. Okay, gotta link the card up to be done. All right, and then, uh, let's see. We can go ahead and put the sewage composter, and I guess the sink, and these couple of ender tanks, or black hole tanks, right? Just like that, and maybe the ender chest. Does that look all right? I mean, I think it's okay. I don't know. The sink seems kind of weird. But that should be everybody. Let's uh, let's link this guy up. Let's see. I want to put him on this power right here. So link and link. Thank you. And I'll probably have to do a little something with light. I'm not sure. All right. Let's go ahead and get this guy all linked up. Got power. All right. Now we need to connect her everybody and run all of the wiring. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to go and connect her underneath everybody. Let's see if we can make this kind of like a uh, wire-free installation. Right here, right there. That should be everybody. That should be everybody. And then all I've got to do is connect these guys together, and I can do that right there. And I'll do it kind of like right here. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's connector everybody right down here. Put a connector on it. Uh, let's see. I probably can turn off the preview on this guy. There we go. Connector there. Connector here. Right, this makes it a little easier. What have I done? What haven't I done? And then we'll come over here. Yep, a couple more to go. And then all we got to do is lay down wires, fill the whole thing in, uh, and then program it. And hopefully it works. I don't know. It should be fun either way. Let's see. Right there. So I think that's all the blocks. So let's go ahead and hook them together. And it should be just lay out all of the wires. Right? Right there. And, you know, I... I thought about doing this with pipes because I'm like, ah, I don't know if you want to see XNet again. But, you know, for a system like this, it's just so handy. I just can't stop using it. It does such a nice job of taking care of this kind of stuff. I got one wire run, and then all I got to do is program, assuming that I can do that. All right, so let's go right here. Right, and then we'll come, uh, let's see, come down. Sometimes the auto step is a little difficult to deal with. Right there. All right, come up here. And we'll make our connection right there. We'll start running into the pen. And I probably ought to, uh, yeah, I'll back my way out. All right, what did I miss? Right here. Didn't get these guys. Boy, I'm glad I brought more than a stack. All right, and then right there, so that's all connected. That's connected. Those guys are connected. All right, cool. Everybody's connected. And then I should just be able to fill this in. All right, so the farm's going to need water. That's easy. We'll, uh, we'll do one of these. There we go. Got water. 
I don't think anybody else needs water. I don't think so. All right, so let's start figuring this out. I guess we'll start with farming. So the plant sower, I need seeds. Where is that chest? I need these seeds right here because, you know, I'm going to grow wheat. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll put seeds in everybody and lock it down. And I'll just shift click in a bunch of seeds. All right, that guy's got that stuff. So I should be able to come and program, say that's out. All right, let's go ahead and make our channels. Channel one is energy and is pretty easy. Uh, so I'm going to extract from the power cell and I'm going to insert into everything. I should have enough throughput to get this done. All right, this block, man, we put down a lot of blocks. I figure, hey, if you're going to build stuff from the uh, mod, let's build everything. All right, right here. You know, do I need a sound muffler? I might go get a sound muffler. Because this is going to take a minute, and all I can hear is sheep. Let's see. I can already hear stuff working. I can hear that it's trimming sheep, and I like that. All right, right here, and insert. Yeah, let me go get a sound muffler. I didn't think about that, that they are super, super annoying. All right, a muffler. This guy, which means I need a note block, and a note block and a piece of wool makes a sound muffler. And this won't be permanent. This is just, I guess, kind of for the video of, hey, guys, cool beans, be quiet. There we go. I don't know. I don't like the sound mufflers because they over muffle. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving some stuff around. I'm going to go ahead and take a seed and let's deal with the farm. Let's deal with the farm. Oh, man. All these blocks look alike. All right, there's the plant sower. So channel two is going to be an item channel. Here's the plant gatherer. I'm going to extract everything from the plant gatherer, and I'm going to insert. This is a priority channel. So on a zero priority, we're going to put in seeds into the plant sower. And then where is my ender chest? Then everything else that's left over, I will insert into the ender chest as a lower priority. All right, so now I've got that stuff going around. It should automatically extract uh, from the plant sower. And that should give me wheat. Ah, uh, that should give me wheat. I need a piece of wheat. Got to have a piece of wheat. Let's see. Uh, wheat. All right, let's get one of these. And this is the hard part, is you need some of these materials to set filters. All right, so let's come over here. So now the wheat is going to come out of the plant sower. And I need it to go, let's see, I need it to go in there and feed those guys. Animal feeder. All right, so I'm going to insert here wheat at a zero priority. And the chest is still at a lower priority. All right, so wheat goes over there first. And that should be all that these guys need to do. Let's see, that's you, right? You're going to get wheat and you're going to feed these guys no other slots. Cool. All right, the rancher, so the rancher's easy. Uh, let's see, where's the rancher? Where is Dunde Asta, the rancher? I'm going to go ahead and just extract from the rancher. And that'll automatically go to the ender chest. And let's see what's in this guy. Yeah, it is milk. And boy, I'd like a bucket of that. Can I get a bucket? Because that would be really handy. Could I get a bucket, please, of this milk? I can. All right. So then let's come over here and let's make a fluid channel. Create. And I'm going to turn it off for just a minute. All right, so the rancher right here, I will extract the fluid out of that, and we're going to put it in this tank here. That's the first one in line. And I'm going to insert, boy, that says buckets of milk. I think that'll work. We'll find out when I turn this channel on if the milk ends up anywhere else. Hmm. 
yeah, no, that should work because the other channels don't say insert. Let's turn it on and see what happens. I got buckets of milk in there and nothing in there. All right, that worked. Cool. All right, so the farm is done. The rancher is done. The animal feeder will be done. The sewer. So let's grab a bucket of sewage. All right, got my sewage. And I want the sewage to go to the sewage composter. All right, so I'm going to turn the fluid channel off again. And let's go find these two sewers. And we will extract those two sewers. And I need to go to a sewage composter. Where is the sewage composter? I hate to say it, all the blocks look alike, and they don't always, you know, jump out and say, hey, I'm a sewage composter. All right, sewage composter right there, filter set, turn it back on, that's you, you're getting sewage, cool. Now you're making fertilizer. And let's take the fertilizer, and I probably can do this on this channel. So the sewage composter was down here, and I'm going to turn it off for a second. And I'm going to extract everything out of this guy. And I need to set this into the plant whatever, plant fertilizer. And I will insert fertilizer into that guy. And that guy should go like crazy. Yeah, right there, have some fertilizer. Boom, done. All right, so did I turn that back on? Let's see, all the channels are on. Okay. Rancher, Rancher, you should be outputting your milk. Why are you not outputting your milk? Oh, you are. You are just milking like crazy. Holy cow. Okay, well, I mean, we're going to have a stupid amount of milk. Can I make the fluid channel go any faster from the Rancher? No, that's it. Unfiltered. It's going maximum rate. All right, so those cows are making crazy amounts of milk. Uh, let's see, this guy's done. The animal feeder is done. The baby separator, I feel like, is done. Right? Like, if you guys make a baby, we're going to go ahead and move them over. And, you know, let's grab some more wheat. Let's grab some wheat. Let's go ahead and just kickstart the process here and see what happens. Because I'll want these guys to grow up. Let's see. Not there. Right here. Animal feeder. Have a great time. There's your wheat. We got all kinds of hearts going. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I got to turn this dude around. I got to turn this dude around. Because I only want adults to go through. Yeah, so now the babies get a chance to grow up. And then, hopefully, it sucks the adults through. Uh, we'll find out in a minute once these guys grow up. I'm not sure that it works like that. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure it works like that. Maybe that maybe I had it the right way around. And there's, you know, I saw there there was this, I thought it was a baby filter, but maybe it's an adult. Yeah, there's an adult filter. All right, let's go check out this adult filter. I haven't used this block, so I'm not sure. Does it go in there? Oh, it totally does. So we had it right the way around the first time. Okay. All right. So now it's only going to pull adults, and it'll pull it this way. And let's work with this. The mob crusher. All right. Let's go ahead, and we'll just come over here. The mob crusher will be on here somewhere. Who is a mob crusher? Oh, we got an animal grower. That's right. I have to put wheat in the animal grower. Okay, hold on. We have got to do some wheat. I've got to do some wheat. And, you know, I'm not sure this farm is fast enough now that I think about it. And I might want to move the wheat to a different channel. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's create a new item channel. Create and make it round robin. So where was... Where was... The plant, I just want to redo the plant sower right here, right? The plant sower, yeah, let's uh, let's just delete this guy, plant sower. What am I inserting? 
Oh, the plant sower. This was an energy channel. Whoops. All right. So let's get rid of the plant sower stuff, plant gatherer stuff, and we'll move this to another channel. The plant fertilizer is okay. And then there was the uh, feeder. Let's get the feeder. Where's the feeder? Right here. The feeder. And I'll delete that. Just because I want this on round robin. All right, so let's go back and do this again. This will be the plant gatherer. We will take all the materials out of the plant gatherer, and we are going to put them, yeah, we're going to put them in two places. So the seeds will go, all right, insert. I'm going to insert seeds on a zero priority into the plant sower, and we're going to insert the wheat. Let's see. Mobs, mobs plant fertilizer, and I'm going to insert the wheat right here, round robin. I'm going to insert it into the animal feeder and into the animal grower. Insert, and let's just filter wheat and wheat. I think that works. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake there. I think that works. These guys won't have any lines. Those guys will have lines in just a minute. Right, because I'm going to get, oh, that's the thing I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to get mob essence. I'm going to get mob essence in this guy once it has uh, some mobs to, you know, do stuff with. Let's go ahead and put a stack in here and see if it grows these guys fast enough. I might have to AFK. But, you know, I've got enough channels where I don't really have to worry about this. Yeah, let's just let's just put it on another channel. And then I don't have to worry about it. All right, so where is where is the mob crusher? All right, extract your fluid, mob crusher. And I'm going to turn this one off for the moment. And I'm going to say insert, not into the baby separator. Right, is that right? Oh, I'm on the wrong channel, right here. Insert into one of these tanks. It'll be number two, right? Insert the fluid right there. I think that's right. Okay, so that's the crusher, right? The crusher should be totally dealt with now, although it's not extracting items. Let's see why. And I want to turn that channel back on. All right, items channel, round robin. It should be over here. This is priority. Where's the mob crusher? Mob Crusher should be on Extract. All right. And this should be uh, Extract. Items should end up default into the Ender Chest. That should work. Did you guys just try to get out? Did something happen there? All right. And then the Mob Slaughter Factory. Yeah, and this is the thing I need to run a little bit. So I have enough mobs in here to be able to filter the inputs and outputs. And so what I'll do here, just because I've got the channels, is let's go ahead and say fluid. And I'm going to turn this channel off for the moment, but we'll program it. All right, so where is the mob slaughter factory? And extract. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell it that it can insert into these tanks. But I need enough, I need a bucket to happen so I can do filters there. But I think that's everybody, right? I think that's everybody. Could I make this farm run faster? I probably could. What do I have for fertilizer? I've got forestry fertilizer. We could make a ton of that. Do I have any growth anythings? I've got, I've got astral. That's just about it. I got to think about this. I'm sure there's a couple of things we could do. I'm not sure if I need to because honestly, I just want the. Uh, ooh. Oh, somebody got sucked in all the way. Uh, I just want the stuff. I just want some of the products. Yeah, so I'm going to let this guy run for a minute. So give me just a second. All right, so a couple of final adjustments. 
And the first one is I put levers on these guys and turned them to redstone control. So the mob crusher is off at the moment, uh, right? Because it requires redstone signal. So right now, only the slaughter factory is running. And I also added a tank for liquid meat on a higher priority. And that's going at the moment. So I can fill my meat feeder. And I'm pretty sure I can take it and do that. And I can't do that with a black hole tank, but it's going to fill this tank first. And now my meat feeder is going to feed me automatically using dead sheep. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so I got that done. All right. And, uh, you know, I've got all the priorities. We've got all the fluids. But then I've also got myself pink slime. And I had enough plastic and a gas tier that I can set myself up for later. And let's go ahead and spawn this guy. And I heard that putting him in a one by one block was better. That it was like more reliable to get this dude to spawn. So I'm going to let that thing chillax for a minute. Hopefully it will work. Uh, and then I realized that I missed a thing. So let me take these because I got to look at them. Uh, the sewers by default are a one block. So I wasn't getting as much sewage. And I think I need one, two, three. I think I need a three range upgrade, which is this white one. And yeah, that gets everybody. So now we're going to make sewage as fast as I thought we would, which will make wheat faster. There we go. Which will breed and grow these guys faster. And then they'll get killed even faster. Uh, yeah, see, that's much better. I already saw the wheat move. And I should be over here. Yeah, so it's every uh, two buckets. There we go. And that gave me a little piece of fertilizer. Yeah, I don't think that putting in a one block hole works. I was hoping that it would. I always have trouble spawning this dude. Oh, there he is. Got him. Got him. All right. All right. Pick up this dude. And I don't need him now, but I will need him later. Cool. We can now spawn pink slimes. We'll come back here to our official farming, ranching, sheep and cow killing area. And I think the whole thing's set up. I got everything I wanted out of it. I got free food. We got uh, leather, wool, milk, essence, you know, the meats, the pink slime. I guess the only thing I didn't need was the sink, so I'll put that away. And the only other thing that I probably have to handle is these XP orbs. I didn't see that coming. But that's it, man. Those sheep are going to give me a lot of stuff. And hopefully the farm will grow fast enough that maybe I'll get some extra wheat. That would be kind of cool. If not, maybe I could fun to grow it. I don't know. Well, I'll keep thinking about it. But I'm going to call it there. That's a fun build. I'm 47 Mark IV, and hey, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know, leave me a like or a comment. I always look forward to seeing those. And then I will see you in the next episode.